see Jacob T. Here we go. And see Jacob T. Side. I think this is uh, deep into a winner's bracket. Yeah. We're getting there. We're getting there, people. All right. Just like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Pikachu, Pikachu. All right. Now, I've seen this matchup a few times, but not necessarily between two people who are very skilled at it. Yeah, I have not seen this matchup actually ever, so I'm hoping for some, like, really cool, unique stuff. I mean, I just recently started coming to tournaments, so, like, I'm, I'm, new, I'm not used to a lot of stuff. Yeah. But I'll, I'll tell you one thing. Um, the yellow Pikmin are going to be amazing for Alomar in this matchup. It's because they cancel all electric property moves. Oh, yeah. So if he, can, if he just wants to, he can farm a few of those and just throw them on Jacob. And Jacob won't be able to just, Do like, anything. throw out Thunder Jolts. His aerials will get, like, won't beat it or anything. Yeah, that's true. He has one in, in uh, the rotation right now. He's doing really good right now. Uh, yeah, he, I, think he's, I think he's fine. I think it's good. Angbat's playing really patiently right now. Oh, which, definitely. Like, that, that was what was carrying him before, like, is his patience. Like, last week when I was commentating, it was just his patience was, like, helping so much. Yeah, man. Um, especially, I think patience is going to help him out just because his uh, personality as a player. Yeah. He, when he uh, tends to lose control of the match, he tends to get frustrated. Mm -hmm. But when he just keeps this, you know, this patient walling style, there you go, got there the first go. kill already. Yeah, first kill back the, back the, Yeah. I think yeah, he can play with his strengths to the character and to himself. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's the best way to I mean, I feel like I don't think anybody actually plays well when they're, like, not being patient. I just think it's bad for a player. If you get too hasty, like, I get too hasty a lot, and, like, I, I miss a lot of grab follow-ups that I could, like, that would help me in my, in my playing. And I see it when other people do it, and, like, I, just patience is, like, the most important thing in this game. Yeah. Especially if you have a walling character like Olimar. Yeah. Like, you look how much space he's controlling just by staying in that safe little zone, throwing out safe hitboxes. See, that pivot grab was pretty much safe because he was spaced far enough. Exactly, exactly. Nice down smash on his shield. Yeah, Jacob's starting to force the approach, and now he's, you know, racking up all his 3%. Already got lap 2% on the second stop. I do like that Jacob goes for those those thunders off stage to kind of clip on the side just to stop an edge guard. Yeah. Because that, that did a lot of shield damage. I, I, his shield was literally half gone. Like, <laughs> that's almost a skittle. Purple on line, oh, though. Purple and white. Uh, I, I'm, I'm always most scared of the white one just because it does a lot of... He's a kill percent now, but when I'm not a kill percent, the white one just seems to do a lot of damage. Like, when you rack it up, like... Yeah. Just it's crazy. Like, you get stuck with a white, and then he just gets, like, his little jab, uh, jab, grab, jab, grab strings. <laughs> It's over. Yeah, it's, it's like zero to seventy right yeah, there. Yeah, especially when they're pummeling you while the pigment's you on. Can get you. Him. Oh, he goes for the. I thought he was gonna go for an up. Yeah, right he there. Oh, all right, he, that's good for that's Jacob that he got that Jacob. kill because that lineup was dangerous. Yeah, that was it. two purples and a yellow. Like, yeah, and dangerous. now now it's back to normal. He's got the red, white. And the blue the throw red, might red. be enough to kill though. Yeah, if red he gets up throw. Oh yeah, the blue one doesn't does have that throw property. Man, I'm not used to this Alomar matchup. Nobody I know plays Alomar. Yeah. I, I tried messing with him before, but like I was not good. <laughs> I know Almar so well from playing Anwar as Almar and Brawl. Oh yeah, years. yeah, Anwar's got a great Almar. Got it. Well, I think it's just that Jacob's just a little scared now because he's at a really high percent. Anything would kill him at this yeah. point. Like even an up an up throw from a non blue Pikmin probably. Oh. oh. Wow. Uh, and <laughs> he just passed yeah, his shoulder just, like, yeah, it's, okay, shoulder, man, it's okay, Yeah, no. passed his shoulder, it's okay. I'm going to take your money, but it's okay. Cheer <laughs> <laughs> like, up, bro. We all make mistakes. <laughs> but uh, uh, Edmund's going to hop on for me so I can play my tournament match. Oh, yeah. I'll probably lose, so then I'll be on <laughs> the rest Good of the luck match. to Strides. He's probably going to carry his Greninja's pretty. It goes in hard. All right, just get those nair, nair footstool combos. Don't forget those. Go. All right, we'll pick, kind of pick Lilat. I don't, I, again, I, I can only see this being good for Jacob because the up he cancels or... This is uh, by far uh, Pikachu's, best, Pikachu's best, best stage and I'm actually, Angbad's very aware of that and I'm surprised he didn't ban this. Yeah. Uh, I always ban this stage because I hate how janky it is for me to recover, especially yeah. from one of the pre patches where like I would always pineapple onto the stage. I hated that. I'm but yeah, he's just now a lot of yeah. grab follow-ups and then a standard Pikachu combo is pretty good. They're pretty much neck and neck though, just kind of trading hits in the neutral. Oh, forward smash. He goes for that down tilt at the ledge. After that down tilt, you can get a downer. Yeah. Net that kill. Ain't bad again. He's just playing. He's been really patient. Really good for him. Yeah, and I think Jacob's just a little too, a little rushing that edge guard a little bit too much. That was, I, I would say he should just be reacting to what he does off of the, off of get up. That was a, that was a cool quick attack though, kind of like a zigzag motion. Uh, goes for the yeah, yeah. Ang Angbat is getting these reads. Yeah, he's re reacting. It, it can be a little hard because uh, uh, Angbat's play style, it's, it very much counters 
uh, aggressive play. Exactly, and because you have to slow down. Yeah. But if you slow down, then, you, then I mean, then you're pr kind of falling it, it into pretty, what he exactly. wants. Exactly. He, he's he's controlling the match at that point because then it forces you to play patient. You know. Very good up smash by Jacob. See, he waited for that one moment for Angbad to come up, and that 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 very much changed the pace of this match because now Jacob has a very strong chance of like bringing this back. He's not very. He's not even really behind. I mean, 17 percent really isn't that much. No, this is definitely uh, <coughs> even. I, in terms I really, of I like, I like that, I like the quick attack movement. I would like to, yeah, I like to see more of that on this stage. It looks like it's kind of hard to punish. Never, never down oh, smash. Yeah. There's all sorts of uh, B cancels you can get on this stage. Yeah. Whenever I watched Esam play, oh, that was a clutch up smash. It got the soft spot though. Huh? Looks like he tried to go for the uh, invulnerability frames on the down B. Yeah. It's a down smash. Mm -hmm. It was a good attempt. It's, it's hard to time since the uh, invulnerability is only from like frames. Yeah, a couple frames. Yeah. So he's back to neutral. He's just I think he's just trying to do his best to rack up some percent because now it's kind of back to Angbat's favor. And he's just going to punish that. Then that's, that's that stock. I closed out that set. Closed that set. Good stuff. Hey, well, I just I, I feel like Angbat's just confident in this matchup. You, you banned Smashville? <laughs> uh, yeah, the pat, the tap on the back. <laughs> I thought it, you would have banned Lilac true. Cruz because all that up. Oh, really? For <coughs> so, <laughs> what Angbad's telling us here is that he decided Basically. to ban Smashville.